ladies and gentlemen, we are on this beautiful looking battlefield today. We're not quite on the menacing ones that we have come to love in Warhammer. And today, we are going to see two factions, guys. Alright, I'm going to be honest here. Uh, you guys don't hear me cuss much on this channel, and that's just because, you know... I don't know. I don't really find any use for it. But right now, I find a use for a cuss word. So here we go. <clears throat> I fucking hate both of these factions. <laughs> Dude. So that is why you guys have never seen these two factions on my channel ever. And the two factions that you guys are seeing is Zinch and the Lizardmen. Alright, now you might be wondering, why do I hate both these factions? I, I genuinely don't know. Like, Zinch isn't that bad, and the Lizardmen really aren't that bad, but I just hate playing as them. I'm not, like, I don't know why. I just despise them. But, okay, already flying in here from the Lizardmen, we have a skink, two skink chiefs flying in here. You can see that they have some sort of bomb strap to their, the bomb of their bird, so they will be able to drop that on some units. But they are already starting to take fire from what appears to be this Lord of Change, a flying monster. And this Chaos Sorcerer Lord of Zinch uh, firing over there. And then we also have some Pterodon Riders flying in as well. Uh, these Pterodon Riders are the Faux Sentinels. And then over here we have the just the normal Pterodon Riders. But And then up here, up the gut, screaming up the middle, we have the Ancient Salamander. That is already starting to fire here. This thing looks sick. Starting to fire probably into some either these Marauders or these Chosen of Zinch. So, you guys might be wondering, right, why, like, I already kind of told you why I really don't like these factions, but in all honesty, the biggest reason why is because, one, I am an artillery buff, um, I will always choose to play as factions that have artillery in them, mainly, but, uh, yeah, and these factions just don't really have any artillery in them, but we are starting to see some spells kick off already, some missile attacks coming down, and we're seeing the first lord charge in, we have the chaos sorcerer lord of Zinch, charging in here and now we're starting to see some um ripper dactyl riders charge in to try to help out that ancient salamander fight against this sorcerer lord who has already taken a decent amount of damage here down to 3,000 health already but um yeah we're also seeing some fire come in from the flanks from these flamers of zinch we saw him firing earlier over here and also helping fire we have the pink horrors of zinch we ha which we have seen in other videos and we have the spawn of zinch back here as well now we haven't really gone over to the salamander side so let's go over to the lizard men side here why did i just say salamander side to the lizard men side we have cold one riders riding out here some saurus spears and then in the far back here, we do have a little bit of artillery. We have the Bastilladon solar engine and a Stegodon. So multiple pieces of artillery back there, which is beautiful. Exactly what I like to see in videos. And now roaming around here, we have Razordon hunting pack, some more Saurus warriors, some Skink skirmishers, and this battle has kicked off. So over here on the far left, we do have some Marauders of Zinch fighting uh, the Skink Cohort. The Skink Cohort should be able to get through these Marauders fairly easily. Um, the Lizardmen are a little bit like the Dwarves, where they are more quality over quantity. Um, as you can see by just the sheer massive units they have. Uh, ooh, what was that that just came flying in here? We have the Lord of Change come flying in here. Uh, trying to take out what looks to be the Star Chamber Guardian, some Temple Guard here. A very, very good unit. So good luck to him there. Uh, these guys are... They're not anti-large, although they are a halberd infantry. Um, what we saw charging in the middle there, this Ancient Stegodon uh, charging in to help out in the middle as well. So a very, very good fight kicking off already. You can already start to see the... Uh, the missile units for Zinch starting to fire down on the Stegodon. If they do not take it out, it is going to do a lot of damage. So very, very good looks to uh, try to take that out immediately. And also coming in the center now is this Pharaoh Bastilladon. So very, very good fight right off the bat here. Uh, we do see that these Chaos Knights of Zinch, which they have lances, uh, are being stuck in melee against some Cold One Riders. Uh, but then these other Chaos Knights are coming in for a surround here by the looks of it. Fighting alongside some Screamers of Zinch. Trying to take out those Cold One Riders, which is a very, very good target. These Cold One Riders are a very, very good unit. Very quick unit, too. So, to take them out early is very, very solid. Now, most of these Pink Horrors of Zinch are still trying to take down a lot of these flying units here. Uh, 
breaking the uh, Falk Sentinels and the Skink Chief, which the Skink Chief is now returning. But you're seeing a lot of these units just trying to take down a lot of these aerial units. You're seeing the Pterodon Riders now being focused down by them. And although they do not do the most damage in the world, ladies and gentlemen, it is still a missile unit. So they will do their best to slowly trickle them away. <coughs> oh, man. Sorry about that. But you saw one of those Pterodons go down there. <coughs> and a big route coming from Zinch here in the middle. The Forsaken of Zinch. Uh, two units of them breaking due to this uh, ancient Stegodon who is now being focused down down to well under 5,000 health after this uh, Bombard comes in. I'm sure yeah, look at that all the way down to 4,600 already Wow under 4,000 3,000. Oh look at his health dropping. Oh my goodness. What an attack. What was that? So we have blue horrors of Zinch we have Flamers of Zinch. We have Pink Horrors of Zinch. All firing down on this one poor Stegon. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It's like just a wave of magic coming down on this Stegodon. Oh, and look at all the missed shots are destroying the Lizardmen behind. Oh my goodness. That is disgusting. Look at this. Look at the amount of damage that they took there. Oh my, wow. That's all you can really say about that is wow. And yeah, any of those missed shots are hitting this cohort of Sotek back here. Hitting the Star Chamber Guardians and the cohort of Sotek. So very, very good target there. Um, we're seeing these Chosen of Zinch now. Pretty much a fully healthy unit charging in. Only losing one man for 32 kills. Charging in to get a rear charge on those Soros spears but we are seeing this, that the slam mage priest is coming over from the back lines to try to help out now in the far back we do see that the chariots have pushed up over here those chaos chariots have pushed up to try to silence those skink skirmishers but now the razor dawn hunting pack and the uh, skink cohort are pushing up in support uh probably to also help support the artillery because that artillery is kind of soloed out a little bit a little bit off on its own there um, so yeah, and what we're seeing now is that the generals are starting to take over just a little bit in this battle uh, Let's review some of the generals health real quick. Sorry for that uh, Sorry for keep slowing it down here, but uh, we're looking at the slam mage priest still on full health We are seeing that the croxagore ancient here Which he is this guy right here Is still doing very good in the health department Now if we look for the zinch side of things uh, this general is doing great. This Chaos Sorcerer, he is doing absolutely lovely. Uh, but the one here in the middle is not quite doing as hot. He is down to half of his health with a little bit of armor. So yeah, very, very interesting fight up here. The spawn of Zinch are also up in the mix alongside those uh, Chaos Knights. So yeah, very, very good fight here. Um... Pterodon now flying back in. I believe that that was at a uh, warrior priest that we saw earlier So he's flying back or the skink chief. Sorry, not the warrior priest flying back in did that stegodon end up breaking? Yes, here it is uh, That stegodon now returning at 1600 health. So very very low health uh, That should not be causing too much of an issue But this stegodon is just sitting back here with 20 kills Absolutely beautiful. That's something that you would love to see out of your artillery. And over here where the Bastilladon is getting focused down. Wow! Only two kills out of a Bastilladon? Whoa! That is not good at all for the Lizardmen. As this Cold One Riders do try to help out against the Screamers of Zinch. But the Screamers of Zinch are anti-large. So they are eating up this Bastilladon very quickly. And now the Chaos Knights are... After they get done dealing with these guys, which they are actually having their hands full over here. So, the uh, Zinch actually is starting to get outnumbered over here with the amount of units that return, but an excellent spell being used there. And the missile units now targeting the Slan Mage Priest back here. Uh, we're seeing those pink horrors now push up to try to help support. The right flank is almost completely wrapped up here. Uh, you can see the balance of power now greatly shifting in favor of Zinch as the uh, lizard men are starting to get destroyed over here on this flank. The lizard men doing everything that they can to try to turn this battle around, but I don't know if it will be enough, guys. I do not know if it will be enough. The uh, Zinch really pushing hard here behind this chosen of Zinch, uh, trying to take out this ancient Stegodon, which is now down to almost under a thousand health. Almost has 100 kills though, I'm sure after that attack it does, yep, over 100 there, doing a great charge into those Chosen of Zinch, who are not anti-large. 
So this ancient Stegodon doing absolutely great here. Um, but yeah, I don't know, guys. Lizardmen are going to need a big turnaround here. This Bastilodon is taking a lot of unnecessary fire here. Now we're seeing it down to under 5,500 health. Uh, yeah, the Lizardmen, their right flank is now broken with this Star Chamber Guardian going down. The uh, Stegodon now starts to retreat to try to get some more range to continue its firing. But guys, I don't know. I think it's just too much for the Lizardmen in this battle. And they're just not going to come out with this one here. The uh, Zinch really put on quite the display here. Very, very good as a matter of fact. Uh, now they're starting to target down the Slan Mage Priest, which is taking a lot of damage. A lot of damage indeed. And this General's almost dead. This Croxagore Agent or Croxagore Ancient. Uh, which is now breaking off the battle, shattered off the battlefield. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this battle. So uh, first thing, guys, up here on the screen is the casualty count. I know you guys love to see that, so there it is. Um, also, um, I did just put up a poll on my channel. Make sure you guys go vote on that poll. It's just for what you guys want to see next. I'm thinking about starting a series, whether that's Total War, whether that's Hoi 4, whether that's Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Like, you guys let me know what you guys want to see, or if it's like a completely different game that we have never played before. Like, if you guys want to see me play Far Cry, if you guys want to see me say play Assassin's Creed, like, you guys let me know what you guys want to see. Um, yeah, so thank you guys all so, so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys go down below, hit that like and sub button. We're almost to 700 subs, so make sure you guys go smash that sub button, and of course, I will see you all next time. Peace!